real numbers binary formats so we had two format that we looked into one was uh, floating point that is our topic and the other one was how to do that using bcd uh the thing that i made you realize that floating point is good but as far as uh, if it is uh, monetary values or it is accounts it has flaws it has flaws in precision or accuracy all right languages like visual basic they have uh, formats related to these internal binary formats in vb we call it single single takes 4 bytes or double double takes 8 bytes for bcd in visual basic we have a data type called decimal okay in python we have a float data type that's it you don't have any don't have any data type for bcd in python so this would be our uh, trouble when dealing with perfections in python you cannot do that we don't have any particular data format for bcd in python so we will always be using float then we discussed both bcd and floating point so let's revise bcd a little and then we go further because bcd is one off topic one off topic means we will study it a little we have already studied in in uh, um as level but the thing is that since we have not studied it in as level with respect to real numbers but with just integers so with respect to real numbers we have to understand it now okay so for bcd bcd real numbers binary coded decimal real numbers i told you that for every single digit in bcd we have four bits so no matter what is the digit of binary we have got always four bits four bit means 1 2 4 8 four bit means 2 to power 4 means 16 16 means 0 to 15 and i told you that we have binary digits zero to nine but since we have got ability to fill these four bits up to 16 we have a difference of sorry up to 15 hold on up to 15 we have a difference of 6 this difference of 6 is treated as error okay so this is our error 
we need to take care of this error because when we have any sort of calculation mathematical operations over bcds we are prone to have such errors what does it mean we are prone to have such errors it means that whatever the mathematical operation that you would perform like addition the resultant might be greater than 9 and that is but comma uh, let's say 0 0.26 Question is 0 0.26 plus 0 0.85. Okay, question is 0 0.26 plus 0 0.85. Let's solve this. If it is 0 0.26 plus 0 0.85 and we are adding it 6 and 5 11 1 carry 8 and 2 10 and 1 is 11 again 1 carry and this is 1.1.11 1 this is our expected answer these are carries so this is our expected answer if it is denary. Let's do it in BCD form. Let's complete the byte for zero. So if we put zero, these would be two, four bits, zero, zero. Then we have got a point in between and then we have two, one, two, four, eight, and then we have got six, one, two, four, and eight six so this is 0 0.26 in bcd form and then we have got 0 0.1234 1 2 3 so this is our eight one two four eight and five one two four and eight this is five okay so now we want to add this up. Let's add it. We will always be adding from the right side to the left side. So let's add it. 0 plus 1 from the right to the left. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 carry. And then we have got this 1. So this is the addition of rightmost digit in fractions. Let's do it with the next one. 0 plus 0, 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. And then we have got this point. Then all zeros. Now, as you can see, with these two digits in fractions, Hamare pas kya ho hai? Okay, the answer is greater than 9. If we take 1 by 1 the digit in fractions, this particular digit is 1, 2, 4, 8. This is 11. 8 plus 2, 10 plus 1, 11. So it means that this particular digit has got this error in it. This particular digits, additions, result has got error in it. If it is error, we know that the error is 6. So in order to eliminate this 6 error, we have to add 6 to it. So let's add this error. This error's addition will remove the issue. So 1, sorry, 1, 
two, four, eight. We have added six to it. And then look at this number. This is one, two, four, eight, eight and two, 10. Again, it has got an error because we cannot save more than, uh, what do we say? Uh, nine. So one, two, four, and eight. Let's add them up. And this time when we add it, we don't have uh, anything to add over here. So keep it zero. Now let's add them up. Addition of six, what it does, it takes the carry beyond that one single digits calculation. So if there would be a carry that will be carried forward to the next digit on the left. So let's see how. So over here, one plus zero, one, one plus one is two, one carry, one plus one is two, one carry, one plus one is two, one carry. This is what I meant that when we add this uh, six to one digit, if there would be an error, that error will be removed by the addition of six because the addition of six will create a carry, that carry will be forwarded to the next digit, that forward of the next, uh, the forward of the carry to the next digit will eliminate the error. So let's see what happens over here. One carry has gone to this digit and this has become one now. So now one plus zero, one, one plus one is two, one carry, one plus one is two, one carry, one plus one is two. And now you can see that the carry has been uh, added now to the uh, integer part, the whole number part. So here we go. One is added over there as carry. Now this is one, zero, zero, zero. 0, 0, 0, and 0. If you could see this answer after the addition of error by removing the error in it, you can easily see that this is 1, this is 1, this is 1, and this is 0. So the answer is actually 1.11 1 in denary which is exactly what we expected. All right, this is 1.11. This is what we exactly expected. So this is it for binary coded decimal real numbers. What I wanted you to understand that when it comes to real numbers, the most popular system is floating point over here the floating point system. BCD is a remedy for accounting and monetary values where you don't want to lose anything. You want to keep accuracy to the cent percentile where you don't want to lose a single fractional bit even. Okay, for that. And yesterday we made a visual basic program and I did explain it if we are saving it in the form of single or double that actually has an error in it and that is that error is called rounding error but if we convert that to BCD or decimal data format in visual basic that error got eliminated because of this um, BCD style of work where we don't lose anything so that's about it. V K six will only be added if the resultant answer is the resultant answer like in here has got an error in it. See, this is an error because the number that we got after the addition was beyond nine. We don't expect in BCD to have any number that is saved as BCD as we did in AS class to have any digit in denary beyond nine. So if it is beyond nine, why it is there? Because that four digits may have this ability to store up till 15, zero to 15. But we don't, we don't expect anything from, uh, from the collection afterwards nine. Means 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, we don't expect it. If it is there, it means that this is an error. 
If it is an error, then we would have to add six to it. All those digits where there are no errors, we don't have to add six. Let's say this is 12, but this is okay. So if it is 12, this is okay, then we don't have to add six to it. All right, but if we add six over here, we may have a carry which is gone to this digit. Then only we add that carry forwarded digit to that, but no six at all. So six will only be added. I have many variables banai dim x as single dim c as integer. Okay, now I'm loop chalata hon. For c is equal to 1 to 20 or x ko jo hai wo maine bana diya 0.1. अब याद रखें ये जो x है ये सिंगल में है सिंगल का मतलब क्या हुआ कि जो x है ये फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट में है फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट वाली रिप्रेजेंटेशंस में है जो हमने पिछली करी थी ठीक है अच्छा अब मैंने क्या किया इसको पॉइंट वन दे दिया अब मैं यहाँ पे क्या कर रहा हूँ मैं यहाँ पे लिख रहा हूँ कंसोल डॉट राइट लाइन एक्स और फिर हम एक्स की वैल्यू को जो है वो इंक्रीज कर रहे हैं बाय पॉइंट वन ओके सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस पॉइंट वन और राइट और फिर हम क्या कर रहे हैं जब ये लूप चलता रहेगा तो ये एक्स प्रिंट होता रहेगा वंस वी गेट आउट कंसोल डॉट रीड की I need you to notice the shoe. Now, dim x, which is x value, kya hai? x ki value is 0.1 and it is single. Hai. Single means that it is floating point. Mein deal ho hai. Floating point means that it is perfection. Nahi hai. Accuracy less system. Hai. 0 0.1, 0 0.1, we will add it in this. Let's go. Chale. ये देखें ये एरर इंट्रोड्यूस हुआ है पॉइंट वन अच्छा सिस्टम क्या करता है सिस्टम ट्राइज इट बेस्ट विद द हेल्प ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम कि इस एरर को जो है वो छुपाता रहे जब तक उसकी हैसियत होती जब तक के उसके पास जगह होती है वो उस एरर को छुपाता है लेकिन जब ये एरर ज्यादा अक्यूमुलेट हो जाता है तो फिर वो एरर अपेरेंट हो जाता है तो आप देखें पॉइंट वन हम ऐड कर रहे हैं लूप के अंदर ट्वेंटी टाइम्स तो होना क्या चाहिए पॉइंट वन पॉइंट टू पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट फोर पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन पॉइंट एट पॉइंट टाइम अब इस तरीके से आगे चलना चाहिए लेकिन हो क्या रहा है नहीं चल पा रहा तो यहां पे जब ज्यादा बहुत ज्यादा एरर रखे अब क्योंकि एरर जो है वो तो फ्रैक्शन में होगा छोटा सा एरर होगा तो जब ज्यादा वो क्या नाम है अक्यूमुलेट हुआ तो नजर आया अदरवाइज नजर नहीं आ रहा आप देखें मैं इसी चीज को 20 के बजाय 40 टाइम्स कर देता हूं तो देखें ज्यादा एरर अक्यूमुलेट होने लगेगा ये देखें ये एरर देखें ज्यादा अक्यूमुलेट होने लगा तो थोड़ी देर तक तो कंप्यूटर ने इसको काबू किया लेकिन फिर अगर आप जरा गौर करें थोड़ी देर तक तो कंप्यूटर ने काबू किया लेकिन उसके बाद जो है वो एरर परमानेंट हो गया और वो बड़ा होने लगा आहिस्ता आहिस्ता आप देखें अब आपके पास 2.7 के बाद 2.8 में देर हो गई 2.8 पॉइंट यहां नहीं आया फिर 2.9 में हो गई अब देखें यहाँ पे बिल्कुल इम परफेक्ट फिगर्स आने लगे शुरू में जितने ज्यादा आ रहे थे लेकिन वो एरर जो है वो अक्यूमुलेट होता रहा और वो इम फिगर्स आ गए अब अगर मैं अब अगर मैं इसको सिंगल हटा के इसको डेसिमल कर दूं तो आप लोगों को पता है कि ये डेसिमल है ये फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट नहीं है बल्कि ये बीसीडी है डेसिमल जो है वीबी के अंदर वो बीसीडी है जिसकी वजह से मैं आपसे कह रहा था कि करेंसी आपको डेसिमल में रखनी है अब अगर मैं यही कोड चलाऊं तो आप देखें आपके पास एरर बिल्कुल भी नहीं होगा सी देर इज नो एर एट ऑल पॉइंट वन पॉइंट टू पॉइंट थ्री सब बिल्कुल एकदम परफेक्ट Do you get it? This is perfect. Why it is perfect? Because underlying binary real saving system is changed. It is now binary coded decimal. If we keep it floating point, then it will not be perfect. 